before the accident, you really defined yourself, or at least I did, on what I was involved in. So I was an athlete, I was in the Coast Guard, so those were my two main descriptors of myself. So when I broke my leg, I really felt at first as if my identity was stripped from me because I was no longer an athlete, I was injured. I'm told that I may be crippled for the rest of my life and the fact that I might never run again. After his freshman season on the wrestling team at the Coast Guard Academy, Josh Surgeon shattered his tibia in a jet skiing accident. Returning to the academy against the advice of his family, Surgeon refocused his athletic aspirations. Josh had walked up to me and told me he wanted to box. Now I, I have hundreds of kids who come up to me every, every year uh, telling me they want to come out for the boxing team. So it's, it, that, that part's not unusual. What made Josh kind of rather unique was that he, he was walking with a cane. But, you know, it, it kind of speaks to how forward thinking he was with his recovery and, and uh, how determined he was to make a, make a full recovery and come back all the way. Once I was healed, I never let my leg be an excuse to myself because as soon as you become complacent with making excuses, you no longer have any standards for yourself. But before he could compete for the academy boxing team, he had another hurdle to overcome. So going into my junior year, um, I committed an honor offense. At the Coast Guard Academy, the three core values are honor, respect, and devotion to duty. So if one of them is ever compromised, honor being chief among them, you go to a mast. And I was disenrolled from the results of that. In my 12 years at the academy, I've never seen any cadet come back be reaccepted to the academy from, from that, kind of, uh, that kind of departure. I followed my heart, um, which was you know, still to, to serve uh, my country in the Coast Guard. Um, and I let that carry me through some hard times, and I got my second chance. <laughs> in his first season on the team, Surgeon reached the national championship, losing a 3-2 to two decision. But every time I was able to think about my loss and how disappointed I was from losing and the feeling of being so close and not getting it, um, it made me work 100 times harder. So coming back into this year, Josh you know, had a new renewed confidence. He went through the, uh, the entire season undefeated. Clean sweep at the Eastern Regional Tournament and he was the number one seed going into the Nationals. And, and in the final he defeated uh, a boxer from the United States Air Force Academy to win the championship. Josh's strength is in his, his determination. I, I, I regularly say he's the most determined guy I've ever coached in my 12 years here at the, at the Coast Guard Academy. It's human nature to want to succeed, but the big thing is you have to define what your success is going to be. You have to make sure that it's something worthwhile. And in an athletic sense, it's not as, is important because that's not, you know, my goal in life wasn't to be the national champion in boxing, it was to be able to serve my country in the Coast Guard. So I didn't want to let an injury, an injury that I felt like I could overcome, stop me from serving my country. When obstacles come, I try my hardest to overcome them. Um, that's what gave me a lot of drive. I always think of the end result and the long-term uh, goals. And I never let the short-term problems or hurdles in life get in the way. 